The reason I record this video is usually see I record videos during the day, but it's night time. I want to record this because I just finished a group call and this question keeps coming up and guys keep telling me, Ben, what should I tell her? What should I text her? She sent me this. What should I do right now? I'm going to see her tomorrow. What, what can I do? I saw her in a concert with another guy. What should I have said? And I want to answer all of these questions by giving you a few fundamentals. Your suffering is a product of the way you see the world. Your suffering is a product of thinking the wrong way about the world. Your suffering is a product of not having the right beliefs that empower you through life. And women and your ex and anybody else who looks at you, they evaluate you based on your beliefs and how you see the world. Now, if you want to get your ex back, you have to have certain beliefs. So because of those beliefs, you think a certain way. And because of thinking a certain way, you feel a certain way. And those emotions get you to act a certain way. And as a result, you become somebody new. And that is the secret to getting your ex back. In this video, I want to talk to you about getting your ex back if you've been needy or if she doesn't have feelings for you. Look, attraction between man and woman, trust between man and woman, this is not about what you do. It's about who you are. It's about how you feel with yourself. It's about how you are when you're on your own. How you are when you eat food, what do you think about? When you go to bed, what do you think about when you marinate to sleep? When you wake up, when you go about your day, what do you think about the relationship? How important is that person in your life? How can you function without that person? How do you live? Most guys who lose a girl and don't get the girl back is because they think they should do something to get the approval of the girl. They should do something to attract her. What you do is a product of who you are. And who you are is a product of how you feel and how you feel is a product of how you think and how you think is a product of your beliefs now let me say it one more time you have certain beliefs those beliefs get you to think a certain way those thoughts get you to feel a certain way and those emotions get you to act a certain way and that's how you come off in front of your ex now how can you fix all of this how can you change who you are there is no shortcut some of my clients fixes in a few weeks three weeks the guy completely changes he gets it and he changes and then you change get what gets what happened when you change things that you do change as well when you change what do i mean what does it mean when you change when you change it means you change your beliefs the if you have problems with confidence most guys do they believe most guys who lose their, their, their partner have problems with confidence so they drink or they see the world in a certain way they think for example Everybody else is here, the girl, because she's pretty, she's here, and they, they, they see themselves here. And it's in their head automatically, maybe they're not even aware of that. So they walk in public, they feel nervous. They want to talk to their girlfriend or their ex-girlfriend or whatever relationship they feel, what if she doesn't want to talk to me? They see themselves lower because they don't have confidence in themselves to see that they can actually replicate that relationship and meet somebody better. So they start to obsess about that woman. And she sees that in you. She sees that if you're doing that. That's one reason she doesn't trust you. You know, the thing that I wrote here, this is my notes, I want to tell you. The problem is she doesn't believe you're going to change. Why is that? Because most guys get stuck, stagnates. Same dude as yesterday. Same repetitive thoughts about why things are this way. Same losing battles. You can never win every single battle, man. The only battle you can win is the, the war with yourself. If you conquer yourself, everything else will uh, take care of itself. You just have to win that war with yourself. You don't know who you are. You gotta, you, you gotta detach your identity from your relationship, from all of your relationships. You gotta detach your identity from any woman. You gotta detach your identity from, as, from everything. You are your identity. I try to explain in a way that you understand, but the point is here, it's not about what you do or what you tell her or how you act. Because if you want to figure out every little thing that you need an answer, you need somebody on your side for the rest of your life. But if you change, then you don't need an answer because you can make it on the fly. That's why I say about relationships, you can either get, the, get it, you can understand the concepts, 
or you'll be stuck in every situation and that's how women test men to see if you just memorize some answer or if you actually changed now the, there are a few things eight things you have to avoid if you want to get back with that ex or if you want to never ever end up in a situation like this first of all you have to stop thinking that you cannot live with your ex you have to stop obsessing over your ex you have to stop thinking that she's anything different you have to stop thinking that there is no one on earth on earth that makes me feel that way i have felt that way before i have thought that way but that thinking holds you back and let me explain to you what i mean there was a day in your life that this woman didn't exist you were doing just fine there are many guys who come to my program with have absolutely obsessive thoughts that this girl was everything mother of my kids i want to go after a few weeks sometimes after about two months say ben you know what i don't even know if i want to be back with her but when they step in the program they they just see the girl up here and themselves here and ben i i can get a girl in my bed tomorrow but i don't want that i want to be with my ex you have to stop thinking that way and i don't say stop thinking that way just oh okay i'm not gonna think that way anymore ben <laughs> no there is a way that you can actually stop putting somebody in the pedestal that's what i work with you on day four of the program you gotta kick your pedestal you have certain beliefs i give you the analogy of gravity in some of my videos if you don't believe there's gravity you have thoughts of okay if i go on the roof and just jump i'm not gonna go up i'm go down i'm gonna go up so you don't feel anything and you go and you jump boom you go down but if you believe there's gravity you see the height you feel scared because you think oh if i, if I jump i'm gonna go down so you don't do it now you have certain beliefs about your ex as well about your relationship as well you think this person is certain way that relationship is a certain way because that belief is a product of your experience maybe you haven't had better emotional connection with someone maybe you haven't had a good better sex with anybody else maybe you are so used to each other so you don't see any life happy without her maybe you are so comfortable together that and that's true that at the moment maybe that is true maybe you haven't ever met anybody like that again maybe you haven't met anybody like her so far so when you don't have experience you can't expect yourself to believe certain things so you have to you have to have first an experience but i tell you just like the you cannot experience jumping from a roof oh okay now i know there's gravity well you don't live long enough to experience these things and now the situation that you're in is what i work with you in the program i show you how things actually are about the relationships sometimes you may not hear what i tell you but when time goes by you realize that is a better belief because that will save you time that will save you energy and that will maximize the chances of you and your ex coming back together so this idea that this person is special as nobody on earth ever like her that held me back for three years in my life because i thought that's it and when i when i started to have certain beliefs and i crushed those beliefs and started to live differently i realized how wrong i was and it cost me three years i don't want it to cost you three years for now you can believe whatever you want that's cool maybe you're new to watching my videos maybe you haven't done my program that's cool but when you come in the program when we talk when you get on calls you work on this second thing guys think this common i cannot be happy i'm miserable without her just that thought when you think that way she sees that she feels that she sees that in the look on your eyes she sees that in the tone of your voice she sees that in the your text message you gotta you could stop all of these beliefs there's a huge list of them i'm going to give you a few examples here um the next one is she was the only one for me again I, i'm guilty of the same thing I, i've lost years i've lost opportunities i lost relationships that i could get back but guess what she didn't want to be with me because she could look down on me because i was putting myself down and it goes back to what to confidence if you don't believe in yourself that you can replicate that connection if you say man i live in a town that there are only two women one of them is missing an ear and has mustache and beard and uh, the other one is my ex so there, i don't have any any options some guys really think that way they say oh there's nobody else who be like that she sees that dude she understands it confidence is when you actually believe you can replicate your results even get better results 
and confidence is, is not something you can fake. You, you should actually have confidence. You, you should legit, true, have confidence. So you can live a life that is a byproduct of your thoughts. And that life means good quality, high value moves instead of you doing the wrong things of you talking to her in a needy tone being needy pleading not being able to move on is a byproduct of certain way of thinking or yeah begging crying pleading you you of course understand what that one is and not accepting and letting go you can find literally thousands of books about letting go and getting unstuck not being able to let go is a byproduct of low self-confidence, of not having a good self-image. Man, I can tell you, there were so many nights, it's about 15, 16 years ago when I was in Australia. Man, I was, I was in pain, but pain, like my chest was burning. I had shiver in, in, my, in my spine. I was, I was so uncomfortable. I couldn't sleep. I had rash, physical rash. Because I was so uncomfortable with life, I was scared. And I didn't want to live like that. I, I was the whole time thinking that if somebody comes next to me, if she comes, I feel so good. And you know, it was like that. I was getting the text message and this feeling would reverse. Exactly like somebody who does cocaine or a drug. And that is not a good way to live. That is not a good way to live to not accept how things are due. At one point, I just said, you know what? I don't want to live like this anymore. I don't want to feel these emotions anymore. And when you get to that point, you really do the exercises and you change your belief system that you really don't need that. Then people see that in you and something very amazing happens. Your relationships will change. They come to women who are really smart in this thing. They see that and they, they react based on how detach you are from outcome that's why i keep saying this is not about what you do or what you say this is about who you are and you cannot fake who you are if you are really confident your personality changes your personality is a byproduct of how you think your confidence is a byproduct of how you see the world if you think that is a unique relationship that is very hard for me to replicate then you lose confidence you will not be able to let go of that. You got to write your values, a list of things that are important to you. Why do you say that person is important? Trying to convince her is another thing. Trying to convince her. I have to tell her that she is the right person for me. I'm trying to look for excuses to contact her and tell her, look, we just made, I made a big mistake or you made a big mistake. You have to come back because of this or passive attacks the last one i want to tell you passive attack is another thing you you must avoid at all costs some guys do passive attack to get reaction they go silence and they start to attack the rex by doing things on instagram or doing things through through the friends oh you miss out oh you'll never find somebody like me again post photos with other girls trying to get reaction out of her all of this can be fixed if you get over this idea that there's not a person out there who can make you happy you can either accept the idea of what i tell you and start changing start living happy or you can get think the same way that you're thinking and go in this feedback loop of negative thoughts negative emotion negative thought negative emotion if you want to break this loop you have you need new beliefs because your suffering is a product of the way you see the world. Your suffering is a product of thinking the wrong way about the world. Your suffering is a product of not having the right beliefs that empower you through life. And women and your ex, anybody else who looks at you, they evaluate you based on your beliefs and how you see the world. Now, if you want to get your ex back, you have to have certain beliefs. So because of those beliefs, you think a certain way and because of thinking a certain way, you feel a certain way and those emotions get you to act a certain way. And as a result, you become somebody new. And that is the secret to getting your ex back. Now, if you want to help you get your ex back, first thing, I don't work with women 
just because I'm not very good with coaching women because it requires a different style. So if you're a woman, I'm sorry, I cannot work with you. And if you're a guy, I work with you if you're over 25 and if my program is open and if you really want to make it happen, if you really want to learn how to think to fix your relationship. Yes, I will help you with text messages. I will help you with your emotions. I will help you with confidence, but it's not one thing, it's everything. So if you're a guy, if you want to go to the next level, if you want to understand how relationships work, if you want to understand yourself, your emotions, if you want to let go from negative thoughts, you can see the link in the description, get my book, read my book, contact me, see the details of my program and message me. If I see I have time and I can help you, then you can sign up for the program. I'll show you what to do and we start. This is Ben. Thanks for watching. And I hope I'll speak to you very soon.